Today's morning devotional. Love and justice harmonized. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Psalm chapter 85 verse 10. God alone can lead you to so recognize his mercy, love, and forbearance that you will have the faith that works by love and purifies the soul. This is the gift of God. It is the opening of the heart to receive the word which is as the leaves of the tree of life. May God fill your heart with his love, so that it may be said that you have purified your soul by obeying the truth. Believing in Christ and receiving his transforming grace is not guesswork, but a work which causes Christ's virtues to be reflected in mind and character. When you gain this experience, you will say, I have tasted and seen that the Lord is good. The Lord Jesus shall be my portion forever. The power of the cross will move in you the mysterious springs of hope and fear, adoration, and love. Angels are watching and waiting, and will witness to the fact that the world has you not. Jesus has found you sitting at his feet to learn from him, the way, the truth, and the life. Henceforth, surrendering your will to the will of Christ, you are drawn into a region where the cross is the central object. The world fades from your view. The glory shining from the threshold of heaven is the all-attractive influence. The riches of the grace of Christ hold you in willing obedience. You are only too glad to impart to others the gift you have received. I long to see you improving the capabilities given you by God, so that you can respond to the inquiry, what must I do to be saved? Let the words fall from sanctified lips, be saved by accepting Christ by faith as your personal savior. God is love. The sinner need not perish if he will exercise faith in the wonderful efficacy of the cross of Christ. The cross is the stupendous expedient by which is harmonized the love and justice of God. It is the sinner's only means of salvation. The image of his love may be so stamped upon the mind that it can never be effaced. Then Jesus Christ will be so evidently set forth crucified before you that you will be a partaker of the dignity of his suffering. I have such an intense longing that you may look into the heart of this great mystery, and find that its interpretation is love. As you make a full surrender of your will to God's will, your way to God's way, you will learn of him who is meek and lowly in heart, and will find rest unto your soul. A calm confidence will preside over you. You will experience more and more clearly the sense of an ever-present, all-pervading Savior. This will give the soul power, which the changing circumstances of earth cannot undermine. It plants the feet upon a solid rock.